before we get to the charts on quantum scape let's look at this article from investors place <clears throat> although struggling mightily since peaking in late 2020 solid state battery innovator quantum scape has been attempting a comeback effort this year most recently the news came out this week that Toyota is going to use their technology in their uh, future generation EV cars <clears throat> Toyota plans to focus sharply on battery EVs with SSBs representing a cornerstone of its next generation EVs. And they're moving heavily in this direction to kind of um, tackle the uh, fight against climate change. Although, although Toyota's news garners the most headline, um, we can't forget about what it did for Quantum Scape recently or on the news Toyota aims for a commercial SSB as soon as 2027 however in 2026 they plan to deliver 1.5 million EVs um, so quantum scape stock benefits tremendously due to the underlying credibility surge um, it's just a, a, a small fish trying to make its name in the uh, pawn of uh, pawn of EVs and anything surrounding EVs as a groundbreaking innovation the SSB holds much promise but right now it's been all theory right this hasn't been any real world um, cases Toyota is going to be the the one big one QS stock has intrigued speculated because since it's been public um, tech experts believe QuantumScape commands a competitive edge. A competitive edge they're referring to over the traditional lithium ion as it uh, increases range, less charging time, uh, lower cost, and more reliable. However, um, according to the analysts, they still see the stock as a sell. And maybe the bump in price was an opportunity to uh, go short. I don't know. Let's look at the charts. So we're going to start with the monthly chart. And uh, they went public in September of 2020. This is when we had helicopter money. Uh, wow. Prices hit a high of 130. And then the helicopter money was taken away and it's just been collapsing ever since although it's potentially found a bottom let's look at the weekly chart and we do have the formation of a double bottom we also have uh, uh, this will be negative divergence here as the RSI was about equal lows made a lower low but definitely a double bottom here and when we had this price surge back in December that was uh, a price level where it formed the weekly bias level at 550 and as you can see when price came back down didn't have to dip into the zone much before reacting and moving higher this must be the, the news from Toyota. Okay, let's go to the daily chart and look at that nice gap higher. All right, so the news. This is Tuesday. This must be the news. The announcement came out Tuesday. However, right now price is consolidating um, in between. 100 day moving average and a 200 day moving average. You know, if we can get prices to confirm and to definitively close above the 200 day move average, that would be bullish for the stock. What's probably going to happen as well over time um, if you project where the 200 day moving average is going to um, be in the future, we can see this rounding pattern. Um, 
potentially you can see prices kind of do one of these here potentially um, or pricing could go back down now because it's only 2023 uh, Toyota is going to put out their, their next generation EVs in 2026 that's three years away um, unless QuantumScape can make some more deals uh, with some other automotive EV manufacturers um, the likelihood of price moving higher is slim me personally I'm expecting a, I'm expecting a pullback in price I don't think that the news alone especially since the technology won't be commercially available for three years is going to keep prices at this level or even moving higher however if price gets back down to the five dollar area for those who want to get in or believe in the technology and or the company this will be a good opportunity to go long thanks for watching subscribe please like the video